When God created man, he gave him dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and every living thing that crawled on the earth. And over time, that has changed. The position of the man has been changed because of traditional differences, cultural differences, modernization, and technology. And today, if you stand and declare the rightful position of man, you are told that is toxic masculinity. They want to come and say, because of the violence, sexual entitlement, emotional illiteracy, and so much things that are done in today's world, want to define as toxic masculinity. But is that true? When we come and want to define and just express the true position of man, and then we are told that is toxic masculinity, is it good? Today, we'll be listening to Professor Jordan Peterson as he shares his views on toxic masculinity. So, let's keep it rolling. We've met some of your fans and uh, we got the impress impression they were all male fans, that the ones that we talked to, um, and that they were struggling with their manhood and that you uh, give them this message that it's okay to be a man. It's not okay. It's necessary. What the hell are we going to do without men? You look around the city here, you see all these buildings go up, these men, they're doing impossible things. They're under the streets, working on the sewers, they're up on the power lines, in the storms, in the, in the rain. They're keeping this impossible infrastructure functioning, this thing that works in a miraculous manner. They work themselves to death, and often literally, and, and the, the, um, the gratitude for that is sorely lacking, especially among the people who should be most grateful. You see university professors, especially of the social justice bent, who are among the most protected and privileged people that the world has ever produced. They take everything they have for granted, failing to understand entirely that there's a massive infrastructure of unbelievably hardworking, solidly laboring, working class men breaking themselves in half on a regular basis, making sure that everything that always breaks works. And so a little gratitude for that is in order. And it's very useful to tell everyone, not just men, that they have an important role to play, a necessary role, and that if they act properly and honestly and forthrightly, that they can put their lives together and they can help their families and they can make their communities better and that that's not toxic masculinity, that appalling phrase. It's what keeps the world going round. And if we had any sense, we'd understand that instead of doing everything at every possible moment to label what we have in the West as oppressive and patriarchal and and, and fundamentally predicated on power of all the insane propositions. Okay. So, uh, Professor Jordan was very emotional in this video. And it, you might be wondering why. Because nowadays, I see even uh, people say, or most ladies say, men are dogs. We do not need men. Um, and I really look at the world and I really want to imagine the world without men. Where would it be? Look at building sites. How many ladies would you find there? Look at men who work in the sewers. Look at men who work in the lakes, in the oceans. Look at men who are in the military and you want to say without men you can survive really is that true i believe that because of so many issues and technology and traditions and culture modernization 
These things have made the place of man be taken for granted. And when the real men stand and defend their position, they are told this is toxic masculinity. I am not anti-feminist. Neither is Professor Jordan. We are not anti-feminists. We are just trying to say, at least men deserve respect for their position. Nowadays, marriages are failing. Why? Because ladies want to be equal with men. They want to take up positions of men in marriages. And to make matters worse, even in Christian marriages, you find ladies are taught, God forbid, that they should be equals of men. And this is why even most of the Christian marriages are not working. It is until we realize the position of man in our lives, then we can have a prosperous life. The violence we are seeing, the rape we are seeing, the emotional imbalances we are seeing amongst men is just because that the position of man has been replaced with something else. And ladies, right, left, and center are fighting for equality between the male and the female. But you realize that this will not work. So, unless we understand the position of man as humans, then we are not going to be successful. We are going to experience violence. We are going to experience sexual harassment just because the position of man has not been obeyed or respected. I may sound awkward, but I want you to sit down and rethink. Go back to the Bible. Read the account of creation. Read how man is being given authority over the earth. Even the Bible records that what man named, so it was. That is how much God valued the place of man. So when we come and want to redefine the position of man, then there is a problem. If we want our marriages to work, our economy to work, and our all aspects of life to work, then we need to respect the man, the father figure in our lives. Hey, you've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us a like and also subscribe for more videos. Now, click here to watch our next video and I'm pretty sure that I'll see you in that video. Peace.